So I left my header up there and ran to the chaser bin. The driver had brought it to here. The motor was already going. We, he and I unrolled the hose and then I headed to the fire. Like so. When I got to here and opened the nozzle, I realised that the motor wasn't revved up. So I ran back to the to the chaser bin, revved the motor up, and as I turned my head, the, I saw the fire going over the wheels of the tractor, and it hit me fully in the face. I, I had the hose, but I couldn't even think quickly enough to put this on spray to protect myself. And what I did was, to get away from the fire, I turned back around, and in shock, I fell over. And I fell down, and I actually put my left elbow on the ground as well, because it got burnt and the fire must have been still going here because it burnt the backs of my hands as well as the palms from being on the ground. I staggered out of the road, left the hose there and waved at the chaser bin driver to get that out of the road, out of the fire. So he drove off and I staggered off up the paddock. and the fire was coming in a straight easterly direction through here. The wind was about 28 k's from the west and it, it had been steady for hours and, and it was burning through here. You can see the marks there where I went across and back with my header about five times to drop the stubble down as low as I could to try and lower the height of the fire. And when I got to, to here the first time, the fire was only about that high. It was only about 40 centimetres high, just burning steadily along. And that was what was such a shock when I got back to the chaser bin. And as I turned around, and the, and the top of the fire then was two metres high. It was above my head, went over the wheels of the tractor.